So, we had the Atlanta Hawks against the Miami Heat. And uh, what, what the hell was this start from the Heat, man? This was one of the worst uh, start to games I have seen from the Miami Heat in a long time. And bam, and Jimmy were atrocious, missed a lot of layups. And to be fair, the Hawks were spectacular on defense and on offense, as they were just doing whatever they wanted. Okneka Okongwu, I was talking about it. I told you all about Okongwu and Johnson in the preview, and they were just terrific. And here's Jalen Johnson on the tip-in, gives the Hawks an early 9-point lead here in, at the end of the first quarter, and they only piled on with the bench unit and Trey Young and everybody. Bogdan, Bogdanovic makes its splash. Oh God, my voice is horrific. <laughs> here's a block from Clint Capella. As he was dominating inside the paint all night long. Dijante passes to Sadiq Bey, who was spectacular in this first half. Whether it was offensively or defending Jimmy Butler. But Kyle Lowry turned into prime Michael Jordan. Or I don't know, man. He was just out of his goddamn mind to bring the Heat back in it at the end of the second half. And then the Heat finally got some life here in this third quarter. Jimmy Butler got a little go in here. And it was a five-point game. But... The Hawks were perfectly prepared, man, and they responded. I thought Quinn Snyder coached one hell of a game. Here's an alley -oop. Jalen Johnson to Onyeka Okongwu. The two X-Factors. I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> okay, what the hell am I cooking here? Uh, but Kyle Lowry continued to be prime Jordan, prime Kobe, prime, prime Steph Curry, w w whatever you want to call him. He was just out of his goddamn mind. Turn back the clock about 15 years. <laughs> Escon Capella passes it to a wide open Bogdanovic, who slams it down. Capella was sensational with those boards, man. And overall, the boards from the Hawks were spe special. Another one here, John Collins gets the end one tip in and ends the game here as the Hawks advance to face the Celtics, which is a really rough matchup. Let's just keep it a buck, right? They have not had their best games against the Celtics, but I mean, they have a chance uh, to win a game or two. That's how blunt I would say it is. But they won tonight, that's all that matters. They proved that they have something in them and that with a full-off season, I feel like they could be really good next year. But we'll have to wait and see on that. We'll we are getting way too much ahead of ourselves. Let's stay here. Onye Kongwu, Sadiq Bey, Bogdan Bogdanovic, Jalen Johnson, my guys, bench unit of the Hawks. I told, told you all in the preview that the Hawks bench unit will be better than the Heat unit and it was going to be a crucial part of this matchup. If the Hawks young guys, the athleticism and everything outplays the old guard of the Heat, it's going to be a really rough matchup for the Heat and it really was. And shout out Trey Young, he wasn't special but he was about as good as I thought, hoped he would be 25, 8 and 7, who was special really early, then he started to turn the ball over a little bit, but he was really good, and um, didn't overforce it, which is what I liked, still some dumb turnovers, but they were double teaming him, trapping him a lot, so for a guard like him, it's really hard to not have those turnovers, I thought he played one whole of a game, Dejante was really good late in that fourth quarter to pretty much ice the game, Capella with 21 rebounds, 8 of those offensive, special night from him, and yeah, Hunter and Collins were not good. And guess what? They didn't play that much because the bench unit was great. Shout out Quinn Snyder, man. He coached one hell of a game. I thought he played just... He coached one hell of a game tonight, man. He outcoached Coach Spolstra, in my opinion. And they were crashing the boards like madmen, man. Everyone, the young guys, Clint Capella, they were just crashing these boards. They had 60, 63 rebounds to the Heat's 39, man. They had 22 offensive rebounds. Just an incredible... Effort from the Hawks, man. I uh, really love it. I love what I saw tonight. It was spectacular. Should have been even, you know, more of a blowout than it was. And, uh, of course, the passage from the end of the second quarter to this halfway through the third quarter was a little, a, a little rough. But it's the NBA, man. That's what happens a lot of the time. While the heats were really disappointing. Whether it was Bama de Bayo just not showing up at all. That was... I don't know, man. Probably worst game of the year for Bam. I don't know, man. He was just not seen. He was just bad. 12 points on 12 shots. Played 41 minutes. I mean, what the hell? Then you had uh, Jimmy Butler, who was also kind of a no-show. Missed a lot of layups. Got to the free throw line at least, but he was not good. Not at all. Tyler Hero uh, was solid enough, but he all missed all the... 
how do I say it? Uh, he missed all the important ones in a way. He missed the momentum shots, man. The shot that we, if he would make it, it would really gather the momentum for the heat. He missed those. And then you had uh, some dumb turnovers also from him. And he was pretty much the only one that turned the ball over from the heat. Jimmy also, the other guy. And yeah, the bench besides Carl Lowry was about as bad as I thought they would be against this young uh, against these young guys from the Hawks. But shout out Kyle Lowry, man. 33, 4 and 5. No turnovers. 11 of 16, man. He was he was out like that like a madman out there. I couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe what I was watching. But it was not enough since nobody else cared to join him. And the Heat will have to play Toronto or whoever the second team is, uh, Chicago, of course, in uh, Miami on Friday, I'm pretty sure, and yeah, it's rough, and funny enough, I feel like the Hawks, for them, a better matchup in terms of actually having a chance, in a way, is the Bucks, funny enough, even though it kind of sounds ridiculous, when you look at the games that the Heat, that the Heat, that the Hawks have played against the Bucks, <laughs> they have been fairly great, and I feel like the Celtics would have a better I mean, the Celtics, the Heat would have a better chance against the Celtics in a way, but a lot of people remember that they beat Giannis, however long ago it was, right? Two years ago? Three years ago? No, two years ago. But they also got swept. So, yeah, uh, I'm expecting that outcome if they do make it against the Bucks, which I still expect, because um, Chicago is not, not that great, and Toronto is not that great, even though they've been playing really great, so we'll see, we'll see, I'll dive more into it, but my gut tells me that Miami is gonna win, even though after this game, uh, I'm pretty sure my gut is just wrong, because my gut was telling me Heat over Hawks tonight, but I predict that the Hawks would win, so, yeah, I didn't trust my gut, and look how it worked out, because I was right on both of these games tonight, so, yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts, what do you think about the Hawks against the Celtics, see you all 